Hello everyone, today I'm going to be going over our first tutorial on my new series in Python which is system programming. Now system program programming may sound like it's something really advanced and stuff like that but trust me if you've watched my other tutorials on Python this will be very easy for you to understand and it's not going to cover it's not going to involve things that are really complicated it's just going to be involving how certain functions and modules are used to communicate stuff between the computer and the program and will make life a lot easier so system programming involves three major modules mostly there may be other modules that you'd want to use but these are the three major ones there is the OS module the sys module and the shoe till module so we're just going to import all of these for our next tutorials however in this one I'm just going to be going over some of the functions in the operating system module or the OS module now the OS module basically allows you to do a lot with um, directories and files and um, basically check on everything in there, remove different files, things like that, add new directories, go uh, search through the computer, start programs, all that kind of stuff. System module basically is the one that checks for compatibility, can tell you all sorts of things about the system, do things to the system and stuff like that. And the shoe till module is pretty close related to the operating system module in which it allows you to have access to a lot of directories and do a lot of things with them. The operating system module can make uh, directories and stuff like that and the shoe till tutorial can move files in there and the operating system can remove directories as long as they're empty but if it has something in the directory you have to use the shoe till module so today I'm just going to be showing you how to do some basic stuff with these we're going to close that right now because we don't need to make an actual program we're just going to be using the idle interpreter for now because it'll just be what we need because we don't need to make big programs but just check things on our computer so the first thing we're going to do is import the OS module of course and then we're going to check for our operating uh, we're going to check for our current working directory so th this is something pretty easy it just tells you where the program is running at the moment so if we just type OS dot um, get CWD that will the CWD stands for current working directory so get current working directory press enter and we get C drive Python 27 folder so we can also print this information out to the user dot get CDW I mean CWD and then there and we get Python 27 still just without the backslash because it's an escape character. However, if you're going to tell it to go to, well, I'll just tell you about that now since we're going to be moving on to that. So now we're going to move out into the um, desktop uh, directory. So to do this, we're going to be using the operating system .chdir. This stands for change directory. Now for the arguments, we're just going to put in quotation. Dang it, my bad. We're going to be putting putting in quotations the path so in our case it's c drive colon forward slash because you don't have to use backslashes all the time it's much easier just to use a forward slash and it's compatible for everything so forward slash and then users slash kurt slash desktop slash the last slash is not necessary but it's nice to have then we press enter and now if we do os dot get cwd we get desktop so now that we're here we can actually execute programs that are there all we have to do is just have a program there that's executable and so let me check if I actually have one there oh I do what do you know we have let me check what this what the properties are for this is it an application or what um, it doesn't say so we're going to go with the hunch that it's a program so to start a program you just do os dot start file 
and then well this also works for pretty much everything including text files so actually we'll just use that because I know for sure we can open it so we're just going to do start file and then for the path we're going to do C um, we're basically going to be doing all of the path up to here so users slash Kurt slash desktop slash and then dog treat recipe dot text in quotations close that and now we have our notepad that pops up this will also work with mp3 files and a lot of other stuff so that is your basics on the OS module for our first tutorial this is probably getting a little long so we're going to move on to part two of the OS module so stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching like the video if you liked it comment if you have any questions or comments about the video and subscribe for future videos